Hey everyone, Liam here. Last day here at the US Open on Arthur Ashe Stadium, all empty. It's going to be a good vlog. Let's get into it. What well, a day started and it was our last day at the 2023 US Open. Nine days in a row, including the Sunday fan day. And first thing we did, we headed straight over to Louis Armstrong Stadium. As you can see there, they were closing the roof because it was way too hot outside. I mean, we were in the sun outside in the morning and it was boiling, you couldn't, you just couldn't breathe. We were watching Vondrasova against the uh, Stones and obviously that was a really good match. very good win by Vondrusova in the end manages to get the, the win in three sets I mean the first set I think she should have won but then it was straight on to the next match which is the main match we wanted to see during the day session we had our fresh tickets but we wanted to see Alcaraz against Jack Draper great win by Andre. Obviously, it was a very tough match. I think he had to sort of battle through a lot of mental aspects of that match because he was very bad on the break points. Not to say that he was bad, but more that Jack Draper was really good on the serve on those break points. I think he was like four of 18 or 19 or maybe five out of 19. And you know what? He had to really battle through that one, but that was a great win for him. And after that one, we headed out, out of Armstrong, had a little look around, a little walk around. I think today was really good as well because obviously there's not that much play going on on the outside courts. So mainly people were on the, on the big courts and we could have more of a walk around. And as you can see, we had a little bit of a pathway, which we found that no one really knew about. And so there's less people and they've got so many good facilities out at the US Open, the food and the vibes great. I even got myself a little souvenir cup and then saw again Feliciano Lopez and Tim Henman at the Sky Sports booth right next to Arthur Ashe Stadium. As you can see, it was a really hot day. So they did have a fan whilst they were on camera, they were getting fanned so they didn't look too sweaty. And then it was time to head over to Arthur for the night session which I was very excited about as you can see look there's so many less people on the outside courts there's basically no one there on the practice course there's no one watching so it was you know if you really want to come during that week of the US Open it's good as well because you can sort of get more of an easy atmosphere going on then we headed on to Ash and as you can see the Karata boys were there and it was up for the first match of the night session Arena Sabalenka against Daria Kazakina and I mean the quality of this match from Arena Sabalenka was just out of this world
I've never seen Sabalenka play before in person. This was my first time. And my goodness, does she hit the ball hard. I mean, on the TV, it looks, you know, very different to what it looks like in person. And I think it just... It just looks incredible how hard she hits the ball, both on the serve and the forehand and the backhand. She's got everything, all the power she wants. And then in between matches, it was a bit of a light show on Arthur Ashe, which was great. And then it was time for the main event of the evening, the match that everyone was there to come and watch. Alexander Zverev against Yannick Sinner. I mean, the entire crowd was really ramped up for this one. The Karota boys were there, as I showed you before. They were getting everyone riled up in the crowd and the vibe was great as well. And the match was quality. Just check out some of these points. As you can see there, Yannick Sinner started cramping and then eventually both players were cramping back and forth. I saw it was like at one point Zverev was tired, another point Sinner was tired. You know, neither of them were sort of cramping at the same time, but they were cramping literally right after each other. And it was quite interesting to see how both tried to manage the situation entirely because, you know, you need to get those fluids back in. You need to sort of use that adrenaline to help you out. And the match was the highest of pressures there were. It was like 1 a.m. and the fifth set was just about to start. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go down, get ourselves some better seats as loads of people were leaving. And to be honest, it was definitely worth it. Yeah! As you can see there, Zverev got the win in the end in five sets and he was absolutely destroyed i do feel bad for him because either either one of those players to be honest because by the time they get back they do their physio they do their sort of warm down they get they have some food they do their press conference and they get to the hotel and everything like that it's like 5 or 6 a.m the match finished at like 1 in the morning and then everyone headed out ran over to the metro and that was my last day at the us open in 2023 thank you guys for all watching the vlogs make sure you subscribe